What's the reason why people get addicted to heroin? Why do you love Facebook so much? And why do people have Parkinson's disease? This poor man is embarrassed because of gynecomastia. Do you want to know why? It all has to do with a neurotransmitter called dopamine. And this is the topic of today's video. It's a very high yield topic and guaranteed on your standardized medical exam such as USMLE. This is Medico's Perfectionalist and let's get our brains dirty. The function of dopamine will vary depending on the neural pathway. So for instance, the nigrostriatal pathway. You know your midbrain? Yes. Please be more specific. The substantia nigra of the midbrain. Please be more specific. The pars compacta of the substantia nigra of the midbrain. This is where dopamine is. More dopamine will lead to more movement. Less dopamine, less movement. So more movement such as chorea atidosis, and tics, chorea, such as Huntington's disease, tics, Tourette's syndrome, atidosis can be seen in cerebral palsy in kids, less dopamine, less movement, Parkinson's, everything is slow, and extrapyramidal symptoms due to antipsychotics, especially the typical antipsychotics. Why antipsychotics? Because antipsychotics are anti-dopamine. If dopamine will lead to more movement, no dopamine will lead to less movement. Another day, another pathway, and another dopaminergic function, the mesocorticolimbic pathway. Meso means midbrain, cortico, cortex, limbic, the limbic system. We start in the ventral tegmental area of the midbrain, through the mesocortical, from midbrain to cortex, prefrontal cortex, impulses are flowing. Also, impulses are flung from the prefrontal cortex to the nucleus accumbens. This is the mesolimbic pathway. Increased dopamine will lead to heightened mood. You are so happy to the extent of psychosis, euphoria, hallucinations. This is schizophrenia. Also, conditioning in psychology. You know, when the mother spanks her kid, okay, this is called punishment. She adds a stimulus to decrease behavior. I'm not saying that spanking is a good thing. I'm just mentioning how it works. The kid will learn that this behavior will guarantee punishment, so the child will do it less. This is called conditioning. Dopamine, conditioning. Okay, on the other hand, if you take cocaine or methamphetamine, will increase dopamine in your brain, lead to psychos psychosis, euphoria, hallucination, and conditioning. That's why you will do it again, because it feels good. On the other hand, dopamine shortage will lead to anhedonia. You're bored. You don't feel pleasure. You don't care. Also, therapeutic effects of antipsychotics. Antipsychotics are anti-dopamine. If dopamine will lead to psychosis, Antidopamine will lead to anhedonia. This is the therapeutic effect of antipsychotics. If you have psychosis due to dopamine excess, we give you a drug that inhibits dopamine. Third, tuberal infundibular pathway, endocrine function, arcuate nucleus, periventricular nucleus in the hypothalamus, to the pituitary gland, pituitary gland will secrete prolactin. If there is dopamine, there is no prolactin. Okay, that's why dopamine is also known as prolactin inhibiting factor. If there is more dopamine, no prolactin. Less dopamine, prolactin is left uninhibited, which will lead to hyperprolactinemia. Hyperprolactin, prolactin is prolactation, okay, will lead to galacturia, milk secretion from the nipples of the breast. Also, prolactin suppresses gonadotropin releasing hormone leading to amenorrhea in females and impotence in males, also gynecomastia in males. Please note that impotence in males is analogous to amenorrhea in females, high yield. So let's recap. Here we have dopamine, more dopamine, less dopamine. So in the nigrostriatal movement, so more dopamine, Korea, atidosis, less dopamine, everything is slow, Parkinson's, EPS, mesocortical limbic, dopamine will heighten your mood, psychosis, euphoria, hallucinations, schizophrenia, conditioning. This is addiction, even to Facebook. You're posting a photo, people like your photo and are commenting on your photo, 
so you will do it again. Okay, shame on you. Oh, shame on dopamine. Less dopamine will lead to anhedonia, therapeutic effects of antipsychotics. Third, tuberoinfundibular. More dopamine, no prolactin. Less dopamine, more prolactin, hyperprolactinemia. Will suppress the gonadotropin releasing hormone, less estrogen in females, less testosterone in males. Any extreme is treated by the other extreme. For instance, if you have psychosis due to excess dopamine, we give you antipsychotics to decrease the dopamine. Okay, next. If you are having increased prolactin because there is no dopamine, we give you dopamine agonists such as bromocryptin to inhibit this prolactin and help you with hyperprolactinemia symptoms. We are done. I'll see you in the next video. Please let me know in the comment if you'd like a specific video to be created and we'll make it happen. Be safe, stay happy, study hard.